Hi everyone, I am working on a t-shirt that I'm really excited about. I love this design and I am going to be using some foil iron-on. So many of you have asked me if I can use this in a tutorial and I have finally been inspired to use it. I've told you that I'm just waiting for the inspiration and the inspiration has finally hit and I am really excited to show you um, what I'm going to be working on. So I am going to go ahead and place some foil iron-on on this t-shirt that I have here and I have a weeding tool and a measuring tape and my easy press mat that I'm going to use. We're also going to send this through the Cricut Explore Air 2 and then I'm going to use my Easy Press 2 to place it on the shirt. So before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and measure out our space that we have to work with. I did pre-wash my shirt so it is all ready to go and it looks like I have, and I'm just measuring to the bottom which falls off screen a little bit, but it looks like I have about 15 to 16 inches to work with and um, that I'm just really actually need to focus on my height and you guys will see in a minute why I need to focus on height um, only for this design because width really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into Cricut Design Space. I will show you the design we're going to use. I will also link it down in the description box below if you wanna know where I purchased it because it's so super cute and I'm just making this for myself. All right, everyone, let's get started. Okay, so this is the design that we're going to be using. I think it's gonna look really, really neat on this shirt with the foil. And I, again, will link it below so that you can see where I purchased this from. And again, I'm just making this for personal use. So I actually was inspired because I've seen this done before. I actually saw someone at church in our worship team wearing a shirt similar to this. And I think it might've said faith on it instead of Jesus. But anyway, my husband um, nudged me and said, that shirt is really cool. You could totally make something like that. So I was really excited because yes, I totally can make something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to size this because it's already a pre-made design. All I have to do is size it and get it ready to go. Okay, so I'm doing a v-neck shirt, so I don't want this to go down too, um, too low because it already has a lower collar line. So I'm going to see if I can actually just make this a little bit um, shorter and a little wider just like this just because I want to be mindful of my length. And that still looks really good, and it still in, is um, showing the design off really well. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. So I'm at about 5.5 by 8.6, so that looks pretty good to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my Explore. You could do this on the Maker, or I'm sorry, you could do this on the Joy, but it would have to just be at a smaller um, size. Okay, so now I'm going to select my Explore. I'm going to click Make It, and I'm going to mirror my image because I'm working with Iron On, and click Continue. Okay, I'm going to browse all materials and I'm going to go to the iron on section and I am going to select foil iron on right here. So I have foil iron on selected. I'm going to click done and then we are going to make sure that it is shiny side down on the mat and we'll feed it through our machine. We're also going to be using the Easy Press 2, so I'm on my heat guide just trying to determine my heat settings. We are going to be using the foil and our base material is 100% cotton and then I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press mat. So I'll click apply. It's going to tell us to preheat to 295 for 30 seconds. Preheat our material before we place our design down. We're going to use light pressure, flip the shirt over and press for an additional 15 seconds and do a cold peel. Okay, so I am just unrolling my foil. This was a little sampler pack. Um, I think I got this in a bundle, so I've had this around and I'm really excited to use it. So I'm going to use the gold. There are multiple colors in here, but I am going to use the gold for this project. Okay, so again, you're going to place it shiny side down on the mat. Both look shiny on foil, but um, think of it as the, um, the color side down, so the side that you are going to be um, the final color. So we are doing gold, so the gold side will go down on the mat. And I like to kind of roll this up, and then on my mat, what I do is I just take it and I just drag it down to my line here and line it up and then lay it down. It makes it a lot easier to place a roll on a mat. Okay, so opening up our machine, we're going to get it all cut out. I'm really anxious to see how this turns out because I think it's gonna be really, really neat. So loading my mat and then I'll get to cutting. So while this is cutting, I'm going to turn on my Easy Press and I'm gonna click the temperature button and I'm going to cool that off to 295. 
for 30 seconds. So we'll go ahead and get that preheated. Okay, so that is already done cutting. So I'm going to put my little iron on in my cutter here and I'm just going to trim down all the extras. I'm also going to take a pair of scissors and I'm probably going to trim inside some of those pieces as well because there's a lot of extras that we can save and I have another project that I want to use this on very shortly. Make sure you're subscribed because it's super cute. Um, so I want to make sure that I have enough for that additional project as well. So I have my design here. I think I might even cut in a little bit on these because come Christmas time, I'm probably going to want some gold foil. So I don't want to waste anything. Okay, so I know that this looks like I have just chopped this up, but look at all of the extra pieces that I was able to get off of that design. So you want to make sure that you trim off any extra pieces before you weed it out because I will definitely be reusing this. So I want to make sure that I have as much extra as I can. All right, let's start weeding. Okay, so I'm just going to start over here in a corner. I'm going to weed out my design. I think it's, it's going to be so pretty. And it looks like it almost has a little bit more of a matte look once it's off that carrier sheet. So that is going to be super, super, super pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to be very careful. And I'm going to go around the design. Just like this. Isn't this design so well done? I think it's so pretty. The second I saw it, I knew exactly <laughs> that I wanted to use the gold foil on this. I thought it would be so pretty. I think it's going to really contrast too on that dark uh, charcoal colored shirt that I have. And ironically, that shirt has just been waiting for the perfect design too. So I feel like we just have a good little match up here. Okay, so I'm going through all the middles of my letters really quick. And I am taking out all of the middle pieces. I think that's it. That was very easy to weed. Then I turn it over and there is my design. How pretty is that? I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get pressing. Okay, so I have my shirt out and I'm just running my easy press over it to get out any moisture. And also just to give it a quick little press that gets all the wrinkles out and makes it look super, super nice. So I'm just focusing on that area where the design is going to be. That looks good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and again, we are at 295 for 30 seconds. So I am going to place my design on my shirt and I am going about an inch. Again, this is a V-neck that has a little bit of a lower collar line. So I am not going to go too low down because even here would be too low. I'm going to go about an inch from the bottom of that collar. And I'm just going to line up. All I'm lining up is the top of that cross with the bottom of that collar. So that looks good to me. Just like this. And this has a sticky back on this um, carrier sheet so or transfer sheet. So once it's on there, you can still pick it up and move it around, but it's also intact and, and placed where you put it. So you don't have to really move, worry about it moving around. Okay, so I think we are good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my press. I'm going to place it over my design fully and I will click the go button. Now it does say in terms of pressure, light pressure. So we don't need to put a ton of muscle into this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to flip the shirt completely over and we are going to press for an additional 15 seconds. So I'm just going to place that over just like this and pressing. Okay, so I have let this completely cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel up my sheet and I'm going to watch and make sure that there are um, no places that are lifting. So I want to make sure everything is pressed down and it looks like it's really good. So pulling, pulling. Now, if there were any areas, what you would do is just place your carrier sheet back on there um, and then you would repress it a little bit. But that looks really, really good. I love how this looks. 
Okay, so here is a close-up look at it. It turned out really, really neat. And I think that that gold on that charcoal gray color is really pretty. I think it contrasts really nice. I cannot wait to wear this. This is so fun. I wish we were going back to church sometime soon because I would totally be wearing this to church. But in the meantime, I will just be wearing it as we are live streaming and it will be really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you think this turned out really, really pretty. The foil, and it feels really, really neat on the shirt too, I have to say. Um, I think it turned out really beautiful. I'm really excited that my first attempt with foil ended up working out really, really nice, and I think it looks beautiful. All right, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Be sure you're subscribed because we have so many fun things coming up.